Hello everyone, Michael Chave here from the Morning Coffee Review Series, here today to show you how to create a signature field and how to sign a document. This quick tip is going to show you both, and we're going to do that right now. So let's hop right into review and show you how this can be done. Now that I have review open, I have a PDF already open as well. I'm going to run you through this. There is a signature location area, and I want to add the actual field so that people are prompted to sign that area. So if you go up to tools in the menu bar from the drop down, you'll have signature and you can sign document here. This will create a signature field location for people to sign. You're going to get a new indication of an arrow or a bullseye, whatever you want to call it. And you want to inscribe the area of where the signature should be placed. I'm going to go a little higher so that it gives them a little bit more room. I'm going to left click and hold and drag a rectangle around the signature location of where I want it to be imprinted. Then it will drop in the little X flag and a blue location for them to sign. Now I can currently quickly sign this document. If you do not want to sign it and you want someone else to sign it, you can hit cancel. Now, when I go back into here again, I can click this area or if I right click save as then I can send it to whoever's supposed to sign this document. But if I click it, I need to create a digital ID, which I may not have done in review. So let's show you how this can be done as well right here in this quick tip. Now, currently, I'm going to create a new one for this quick tip. It's going to ask me to browse for an existing file. I do not want to do that or create a digital ID from file. You can also create a Windows certified stored ID if you would like. I'm going to type in my name here. Then I'm going to type in my organizational unit. If you'd like, I don't have one. I'm not going to put one in. What is my organization name? ATG USA. What is my email address? Put in my work email address right here. Then what type of country region? Not what type, what country or region? United States usage. What type of usage are you going to have? Digital signature, data encryption, or both. I'm going to do data, uh, digital signature and data encryption. What is my key algorithm for those? If you want to look those up, get more info on that, you can. And then what is the password? So this is where it defaults and saves this digital ID or do not or and what else is my password going to be? And thankfully it showed me dots. So I'm going to type this in here. I'm going to hit OK. Now I have my new one. Again, I have a couple in here so I can go through and quickly sign documents. I can do a digital signature or certify my document. I'm going to do a digital signature. This is what it shows up as default. Now, if you don't want to show it as this, you can actually change your appearance to be something different. So I have different ones in here. I think this first one has more saved. I do see. So under those digital IDs, they have their own different appearances, like my signature here, or maybe a custom. Ooh, I think the default changed, but we can go through and create a new one. So if I wanted to create a new one with not standard text, but something of a signature, I can quickly create a new one from here. Now, this is how it looks again. As we saw before, I can change this to my signature. What's the name? Is there a file location because it's not pulling this data? It actually is for my instance. I'm going to have it go through some documents here. And let's locate my signature field. I think it's in here. Got to go through custom stamps. And here's my custom stamp sig. So here's my signature here. That's what I want to show up. I know it's a lame signature, but I don't want this other data. That's all right here. You can deselect these so it starts subtracting these out. You can even remove the logo that they have. Now it will only sign with my signature here under this new title of sig and I'll hit okay. So now whenever I'm ready to sign my document, that's how that one's going to show up. Or you can have it with the standard text that populates, which we'll show here. I hit okay. It's gonna want me to save this as something different. So I can just save it to my desktop and just say example, because it's certifying. Remember, it's certifying that document. That's what I said. I hit save. It's gonna replace the one that's already there. And now it has been signed. That is my quick tip today on how to quickly create a signature field. And hey, I threw in how to create an ID and a new appearance for those signatures as well. Thanks for tuning in today. If you have any other quick tips you would like to see, please throw them in the comments below. 
but I appreciate you checking out my video, throw in some likes if you have some time, and I look forward to seeing you next time.